looks like folks, well, we've gone to the dogs out here, I think, right, Doctor? <laughs> but we're going to tell you how to prepare your pets for the hurricane season. And joining me now, Dr. George Malello, Northeast Regional Medical Director for Banfield Pet Hospital, and Justin Scally, a National Director of American Humane Associations, Humane Intervention, Red Star Emergency Services. Plus, we have a bunch of pets with us. Who do we have here? This is Poncho. Poncho and Jack Russell, right? Jack Russell, very good. All right, hard to believe on this gorgeous day that we're talking about hurricane season, but we need to be prepared not only as adults and parents, and all of that, but for our pets too. So let's talk about the microchip, why that's so sure. important. Sure, well, it's very important. And uh, Banfield Pet Hospital and the American Humane Association are embarking on a tour with the Red Star Rescue Vehicle to raise awareness and education about what people could do. The most important thing is the microchip, which is a small chip about the size of a rice granule. Yep. Insert it right under the shoulder. And show me how you can find and out whether or not do a dog it yourself, has it. Okay. Basically, you just scan, press the button, and it gives you the information. And it right comes there. up right on the screen. You there. see it right there, his name and a number to call, so a pet could be reunited with its owner in case they were lost. All right, now, you don't think necessarily about putting together a disaster kit for your pet, but you say that that is crucial. So what would you put in that particular Absolutely bag? Absolutely crucial. And, and you know, in the commotion of a storm preparation, it's easy to forget our pets. So it's better to have a week's supply of food and water available, have any medications that your pet may be on, copy of the medical records. Um, those are all important things to have on hand. 